<laughs> What's up everyone and welcome to today's tutorial in Valheim. My name is Mr. Zegglesworth. And I'm Mr. Wolf2K and in today's tutorial we're going to be teaching you how to kill Bone Mass, the third boss in Valheim. Booga booga booga. <laughs> booga booga booga. It just feels right. <laughs> it is. So here we are at the spawn point for Bone Mass. But before we spawn them in, we're going to show you a little tactic that's going to help make this fight so much easier. And to do that, we're going to be leveling out the ground to get rid of the deep bits of water that are going to slow you down, just so you can move about a bit more easy. So let's get to it. So let's flatten this ground. So you want to get your, your stones out and your hoe. Is it a hoe? It's a hoe. I hope you've got your hoe, because I ain't got my hoe. I've got my hoe. So hoe and stones. We want to get... What you want to do is walk about and the bits that make you walk slow, try and level it up a bit, like Zeg's doing here. Yeah. Don't have to go mad, but just get a nice area around the skull because you're going to be kiting them around. So get it reasonably flat so there's not loads of puddles. If you're on the land, you can I think you can outrun them without sprinting. Yes, definitely. If the water's gone, you can walk away from them, kite them about. If you're low health, keep away from them. And then when you're ready to move back in, get stuck in, parry, swipe, pummel them with your blunt weapon, with your mace. And again, get those ads. As soon as the ads are up, if you can, whack them. Yeah, definitely agree with that. I'll point out that me and Mr. Zeg are in full Iron Gear, which is maxed out, I believe, level four. Yeah. Same as, as for weapons. So those ads, you should be able to kill them in about one or two hits. Here we go, cook their remains. Now what that is talking about is, while you've been going through the crypts, which I know you've all been doing and you've loved it to bits, inside there you will have found these items, withered bones, and you need 10 of those to spawn this boss. And you literally go to the front of it here and you them in. throw them in here by putting, putting them on your hotbar and then pressing the correct associated key. Boiling death. Bone mass is particularly weak to blunt damage, so we do recommend taking a mace with you. He's also weak to frost damage, but you won't have access to that yet. He's quite resistant to slash damage. It takes about, it takes about half damage from that. Uh, it takes a quarter damage from fire and piercing, so they're really bad against him. And I should imagine he's immune to poison. He's also immune to the stagger effect when you parry him. As for bone mass's attacks and abilities, it will do a close range swipe, which it can be parried if you're good with your parrying, get the timing in. It won't stagger them, but it will let you get the critical hits on them. So make sure where you parry them and smash the shit out of them. He's also got an area effect poison cloud, which as it does what it says on the tin, it will do poison damage. You'll get a green cloud around them. Get out of that ES EAP because it will damage you. Make sure you've got your your poison buffs on try and prevent that a bit uh, and every now and again he'll spawn mobs and you do this by he stick his arm in his hand in his armpit and he like chucks stuff at you like blobs at you blobs and skeletons kill these guys as quick as you can he'd spawn about three or four of them kill them and then get back on the main boss and that is it for all his attacks and abilities another thing that you'll notice when you're fighting this boss is that it constantly rains Unfortunately, you can't get rid of the rain. It will be there permanently. It's a, a boss effect. So this is going to greatly affect your stamina regen. So try and not run out of stamina. Keep it. Keep an eye on it. Before you start, remember, refresh your poison resist mead. Take your buffs. Do your stew, boar jerky, and your serpent meat. Which, if you watched our last tutorial, you should have plenty of serpent meat now. Eat that bad boy. And we'll give it a, give it a minute or so for our buffs to kick in and then we will get this fight going ah, that, i dare say i'm ready to go i'm not i'm not I'm much feeling, yet like I'm but feeling pretty yeah ready. feeling good i'm feeling good let's do this see if we die let's do this oh where's he spawning where's he spawning i do love this skull though it's awesome there he is at the back so if you can if there's a few years doing this try and if you are taking damage back off let someone Take the damage. Yeah, uh, don't do, don't just eat it like I just did. There you go. He's chucking his his blobs out. He's going to be sick. There you go. Looks like he's been up, run out of it. Let's kill this ad. Kill the blob. Yeah, this is a great time to uh, kill the ads. <laughs> Going after you, Zeg. The blob. Okay, here he comes. He's doing. He's chasing Mr. Wolf. 
Can I swing? Uh, fail. That's a fail. No. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna come in at the back of him here. There he goes, he's gonna... Gonna be sick. Yeah, drop his toxic rubbish. Get out of this. Oh. Just give him a wide berth. You can give yourself a bit of time to get some health back while you're away. Let's chuck them all. Chuck the blobs out. There they are. Kill them fast as you can. Boom, boom. Two hits, dead. He's on you, he's on you. Just so you know. Guy is needing hard. Gonna be sick again. Keep out of the keep out of the way. Coming for me. He's gonna do a swipe. Parried. Get some hits in. I haven't parried a single thing yet. Oh, here we go. He's being sick. Another parry. This guy sucks. Gonna back off because my stamina's low. It's going after Zeg. We're okay. Keep an eye out around you as well because there are, don't forget, there are mobs within this zone still. They sneak up on you. Could be bad times. Born and blobs. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I think a big thing of this fight is, again, stamina. Managing your stamina. Don't let it run out. Yeah. I mean, it's, I suppose that's the... Recognise that the fight is relatively long. And just be patient with it. You've, you've got no real reason to rush it. Uh, if you do attempt to rush it, there's a good chance you will burn through your stamina. <laughs> I need to get one parry on this guy. <laughs> it's, it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> He's so slow. You do it too soon because he's so slow on it. You're like, now, and it's like, nah. I don't think I've done it at all. I just get blocked into my animations. There you go, like that, man. That's it, that's it. Yeah, I'll try. Double parry. I'm just I'm going to tank it out now. Out, out of stamina. Go on, Zag, get the last blow. Go on, Zag. Kick him in the nuts. Boom. Yeah. The mass is no longer moving. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, nice and easy. Like you see, I didn't do a particularly good job of that. And it was quite forgiving because we've taken the time to collect a lot of iron, upgrade our gear, come with the right buffs and stuff. So. Easy, easy. I'll take the bone mass trophy there. And we've each got a wishbone. Wishbone. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at this. The wishbone. This ancient bone remembers the location of many forgotten things and the many forgotten things. It says this is an equipable item, like a piece of armor, and you can actually sense hidden objects. Detect when you walk around, it will start like flashing. Pings, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a little noise and it starts flashing and it, there's actually iron in this zone just out in the swamp. And if you walk over it, it'll show you where that is there's also treasure hidden around the game we'll sh there's a little example near our current base i can show you that in a little bit and that'll show you how this item actually works yeah but and obviously we've got the trophy for the buff from the boss let's go and hang him on the wall let's go and hang him on a wall see you guys in a minute three to one let's go <laughs> this is the wishbone in action i didn't see these i don't know describe them wisps wisps of light coming off here yeah when you're near something of value, be it iron, silver, or treasure, it will beep. And as you get closer, it will beep faster. Yeah, and often these pillars of stones that operate like this have actually got stuff hidden underneath them. Yeah. But you'd have to dig it all out without this item. Looks like here. this is where we need to dig. Can we do a little dig in here and see what we get. Yeah. There we go. Okay. First time. Little chest. Let's have a look. We have got a silver necklace. Boom. And some rubies. Wolf draw, grab them rubies. Yeah. Got no space for them. Oh, put some thistle in. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's what it does. Wolf? Yes. We're back here. We've just killed Bone Mass. Do you want to take a guess which one of these <laughs> is Bone Mass's stone? Uh, is it this one? No, it's this one. Let's press E on this one. And there you go. <laughs> this is Bone Mass's That looks pretty cool. They've, have they changed that since the last time yeah, you played that? Really half? That looks it. pretty cool now, actually. That is a million times better. So this is a buff that gives you resistance versus physical damage versus blunt slash and pierce, as it tells you there. 
Now, to be fair, this might actually be useful exploring the next zone where your face will get chewed off. Same as the other buffs. Press F. Boom. Five minute resistance buff. Yeah. Tank. Tank stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bone mass is dead. Easy peasy. If you're unsure, stop playing the game. It's just like it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy, to be fair. Very easy. I've just noticed that he could have a good look at his eyes. They're actually skulls. He's got skulls, skulls yeah. for eyes. Skulls, skulls for eyes. eyes, skulls for ears, skulls for teeth. He's a bit of a mess, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a bone mess, isn't he? Uh, and on that note, we'll see you next time, guys. Love you bye. Toodaloo, love you loads. Bye. <laughs>